Good evening, Father. I hope you all have had a wonderful day today. I hope you all have spent in our joy and happiness at home, living in harmony, living in peace, and above all, living in the presence of the Lord. That's the call of the day. The lockdown period is coming to an end very soon. But let us ask the Lord to keep a lock in His love, that His love may remain supreme in our hearts and in our families. I pray for all of you. And I ask the Lord to grant your good health of both body and mind and the joy of being under his protection. As he takes care of us, we have a role to play of taking care of the other. So keep your distance, wear your mask. Do not roam about unnecessary. And buy enough provisions in the house that you may not have to go out to be with anyone else. I pray for your dear friends. And today we shall pray in a very special way for Father James Luke. We have been schoolmates on the last before we joined the priesthood. So our friendship is a long standing one. I thank God for him, for all that he has been doing for the church and for the schools. He has always been a good schoolman. So I invite all children to remember him as their principal and praying for him that he may have good health of serving the Lord cheerfully. In praying for him, we have another birthday. Birthday of Halina Devrulu, the daughter of Nancy and Brian. It's the first birthday. Pray that this child may grow in lots of love from her parents. Then we have a thanks in Mass in honor of St. Anthony, offered by Nancy and Brian, praying for the child. Another Mass in honor of Mother Mary, <coughs> offered by Rita Thomas and Josephine Thomas. We pray for the Sebastians, Victor, Vincent, Devanason, Matthews, Alvarez, Ashwin, and our team, Lionel, Edward, Persis, Jessica, Simon, and Jenny. I invite you to remember them always because we need them to reach out to you. Pray that they be strong and healthy <laughs> like us. Our purchase always gives a big smile. Have the smile of his on your faces also. 
it makes everybody to wonder why you are smiling. So keep smiling. Then we have a sad news. A dear good friend, Yosef Patoli, died yesterday. He was staying near Umkar colony. The burials will be taking place now. And this mass is offered by his wife, Veronika Patoli. We pray for her and her whole family at this time of grief. Sorrow in their family of losing the daddy of the house. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. Then we have an anniversary mass of Sebastian David Selvaraj, mass offered by Munnar Frank and also by Rita Thomas. We pray for VT Thomas, mass offered by Rita Thomas, for Manuel Fernandez by Dorothy Fernandez and family, for all departed souls by Sajai Pandit and family, <coughs> for departed soul of Margaret Joseph, mass offered by Magdalene Pandit, the death anniversary of Rita Ravi Salve, mass offered by Dorothy Fernandez, and we also pray for Martha and Benjamin Vance, Mass offered by Augustine Vance and family. We pray for all those of us such to pray for them. May the goodness of the Lord keep us all safe and sound. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Yes, my friend. The reading from the book of Prophet Mika. It's a small book, but the readings conclude. The reading concludes with a note of praise, thanksgiving, and winds up with a great petition. With this reading, the reading comes to an end today. He praises God. He calls God Good Shepherd. A shepherd who goes in search of his lost sheep. Because he wants the sheep to belong to one fold. This is what Micah is writing so many hundreds of years ago. And then, finally, he has a petition. He says, Lord, our people have gone astray, they have faltered, they have sinned. So be merciful to them. How wonderful this reading is for us today too. Remember what Jesus said yesterday? A secret generation demanding for signs. And the gospel today says, saying, Who was my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? Only those who do the will of God. That is what Micah has already said. And Jesus is praising all those who are doing the will of God. Are we doing the will of God? Examine yourself today. Sit down with your family. Maybe it's already late evening for you to hear this mass. But then be prepared that you do the will of God. But for all those moments, belonging to the sheepfold, we still falter in many ways in doing the will of God. For all such moments, let us call to mind our sins and <coughs> purify ourselves. We confess together, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most previous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, 
to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. children and mercifully increase the gift of your grace that may fervent in hope, faith and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you and in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Micah. With shepherd's crook, O Lord, lead your people to pasture the flock that is your heritage. Living confined with a forest, with meadow land all around, let them pasture in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. As in the days when you came out of Egypt, grant us to see wonders. What God can compare with you? taking fault away, pardoning crime, not cherishing anger forever, but delighting in showing mercy. Once more have pity on us, tread us down our faults. To the bottom of the sea, throw all your sins. Grant Jacob your faithfulness and Abraham your mercy, as you swore to us fathers from the days of long ago. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Let, Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. O Lord, you once favoured your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You awaited all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Our response? Let, Let us see, see O Lord, Lord, your mercy. mercy. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Our response? Let, Let us, us see, see, O Lord, Lord your, your mercy. mercy. Kindly get ready for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah 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 If anyone loves me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we shall come to him Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus was speaking to the crowds when his mother and his brother appeared. They were standing outside and were anxious to have a word with him. But to the man who told them this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? 
and stretching out his hands towards his disciples, he said, Here is my mother and my brothers. Anyone who does the will of God is in heaven, is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept we pray the sacrifice from your faithful children and make it holy as you bless the gift of evil so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all to christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty eternal god for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it in you and so it is right that your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you Therefore, we to extol with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we are clean. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them that give you form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time we were betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, give it to a disciple sitting. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, counting us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church right throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all those who have died in our families and in our neighborhood. Bring them all into the light of your face. And mercy on all of us who have gathered here this evening. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, a Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set here the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord <coughs> be with you always. And Amen. with your spirit. There is over each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
spiritual communion? My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart as though you were already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Allow me not to be separated from you. Jesus, my good, my sweet and only love, inflame this heart of mine that it may be always on fire for you. Communion and the Fifth Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mystery to pass from a former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you all and remain with your love and forever. Amen. So dear friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's all get ready to say our prayer and the vena in honor of St. Anthony. All together. O white lily of purity, sublime example of poverty, true mirror of humility, resplendent star of sanctity, O glorious St. Anthony, who didst enjoy the sweet privilege of receiving into thy arms the infant Jesus, I beseech thee to take me under thy powerful protection, thou in whom the power, the power of working miracles shines forth among the other gifts of God. Have pity upon me and come to my aid in this my great need. Apne aap ke liye, apne parivar ke liye, Sen Anthony ke paas nivedan kare. Together, cleanse my heart from every disorderly affection, obtain for me a true contrition for my sins, and a great love of God and my neighbor, that serving God faithfully in this life, I may come to praise, enjoy, and bless Him eternally with thee in paradise. Amen. Let us pray. O most merciful Jesus, who has glorified in an admirable manner that holy confessor, St. Anthony, by continued miracles, give us the grace to feel assured that we shall obtain through his intercession and merits what we ask in confidence, who liveth and reigneth with God the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Let us thank St. Anthony for all the graces and blessings that you obtained for us from Jesus together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Pray for protection against coronavirus. O oh God, oh God, in this time of the coronavirus, we turn to you in trust and hope. You, you are ever full of mercy, compassion and love towards us. We ask you, loving Father, to be merciful to us and in your divine power, take away from all over the world this grievous pandemic of coronavirus. Inspire all authorities to take effective measures to contain the disease. Help us to be alert and vigilant against coronavirus and to follow all guidelines and directives. You redeemed and saved us through the suffering and resurrection of Jesus. Help us not to be discouraged, but to believe and hope that you will bring good out of this evil. Father, let your victory and glory shine through this deadly disease, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of praise, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord, we beseech thee, Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to be the incarnation of Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, in my passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. all of you for joining us this Eucharist. Yet St. Anthony brings everybody together at the Eucharistic table. Always thank him and intercede with him that he will obtain for us the grace is required to fight against this virus. Pray that this deadly virus may disappear from the world. And if not, yaad dila dun ke kal ke din amare mitre yourself Patrul Ikli Pagdari Mesa, Sham Kuchi Vaji, Amat Kilipesh Karingi, Abhi Pratna Me Bhaglika, Veronika, or Uske Parivarki, Zaru Pratna Kijika. Ambi Pratna Kari Kibishwe Kisari Lugunko, Prabhu Jal Sejal, Ikase Vaccine Vaste, 
ताकि हम भी हर प्रकार की बुराई से बचे रहे सो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू माई टीम एंड थैंक ऑल दोस्ट फॉर ज्वाइन गॉड ब्लेस एंड टेक केयर